Hey Rich, do you like All Day You May or The Grind better? All Day You May, the name says it all. All Day You May basically, it's a drink that I created to drink all day long. All right, I've kind of figured that. But Seth, what do you like better, All Day You May or The Grind? The Grind. This is our essential amino acid branch chain amino acid hydration complex. Rich Piana's All Day You May versus Seth Fiorce's The Grind. Which recovery drink is better? I'll be giving my personal opinion based on sales in our stores, the ingredient profile, taste and overall marketing and presentation of the product coming up next. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you can, please smash that like button. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. I would definitely appreciate it if you liked the content. If you would like and subscribe as well, please turn on notifications to keep up to date with new videos. First, I just wanted to say rest in peace to Rich Piana and God bless his family. I can't believe it's already been, I believe, 2016 since he passed, but he really built one of the biggest brands really, really quickly after he left Mutant and then started his own 5% Nutrition. And after he passed away, it really feels like Seth has kind of taken the same type of reins and really ran with it, that raw and gritty type of personality and that extremely loyal fan base. I remember after Rich died, we had a guy come into the shop and he had watched all of his videos and everything and it, he was seriously devastated. It was like he lost a brother just about. And Seth was kind of, he's honestly kind of the same way. Especially at our store down south, he has a handful of guys down there that just absolutely love him and no matter what he comes out with, they'll definitely be purchasing just because they really, really enjoy and respect Seth. But let's get down to it. Which product is better, Rich Piana's All Day You May or Seth Fiorce's The Grind? We opened our first shop in 2016 and we've had All Day You May since day one. We currently still sell All Day You May, but this product was our number one selling BCAA for the first couple years we were in business. We've had the grind for probably around two years and I would say this is our new leading seller as far as BCAAs go. Let's start by looking at the BCAAs in each product. BCAAs are branched chain amino acids. There are three different types of amino acids that make up branched chain amino acids, L-leucine, isoleucine, and valine. They all have a purpose and BCAAs are shown to help stop muscle tissue breakdown in some studies. In All Day You May, there are 6,000 milligrams or 6 grams of BCAAs and in the grind there are 5,000 milligrams or 5 grams of BCAAs. But the advantage here I would give to All Day You May and here's why. The ratio of BCAAs is 10 1 to 1 in the All Day You May and the grind ratio of BCAAs looks like it is 2 1 to 1. What that means is there is a lot more percentage wise of leucine which is my favorite BCAA. It has been shown when consuming leucine with a protein meal there's a better percentage of the protein that gets absorbed. Now let's look at EAAs or essential amino acids. If the body doesn't get any other type of amino acids, it can convert the other aminos into the one it is lacking, but essential amino acids cannot be made by the body. As a result, they must come from food or supplements. In All Day You May, there is 205 milligrams of EAAs. In the grind, there are 2.5 grams of essential amino acids, so almost 15 times more than the All Day You May. Edge here definitely goes to the grind. Now let's take a look at conditional amino acids. Conditional amino acids usually are not essential except in times of illness and stress. Conditional amino acids in All Day You May include L-glutamine, L-carnitine, L-tartrate, N-acyl, and L-cysteine. This blend is 2,800 milligrams. There isn't a straight across comparison in the grind, but one of the conditional amino acids, glutamine, is also found in the grind at 2,500 milligrams, almost as much as the entire blend in All Day You May. The glutamine in the hydration and recovery blend in the grind, along with raw coconut water concentrate at 1,000 milligrams, betaine and hydrus at 1,000 milligrams, and L amethine AKG at 1000 milligrams. They list these separately in the grind, but there is calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium in the grind as well. These will help with hydration. All Day You May has what they call an amino acid support blend, but I would consider this hydration as well. This includes altarine, raw coconut water concentrate, and blueberry powder. Added up, the grind has just over 5600 milligrams in additional recovery and hydration elements. Between the conditionally essential amino acids 
in the All Day You May and the Amino Acid Support Blend, or I would call it hydration, it is around 4,000 4, milligrams. So I would give the edge here to the grind in this category. We have covered all of the ingredients in the grind. All Day You May though also has beta alanine for endurance, glycosamine and MSM for joint care. All Day You May also has vitamin C, vitamin B6, B12, calcium, so does the grind, the grind also has calcium, and phosphorus. So I'd say the recovery is pretty close, but All Day You May has a few added ingredients for joints and overall health that the grind does not have. As of right now, All Day You May comes in a handful of different flavors. Blueberry Lemonade, Blue Raspberry, Lemon Lime, Fruit Punch, Mango Pineapple, Southern Sweet Tea, and Watermelon. Then the Grind comes in a handful of flavors as well. They just released their Icy flavors, so Icy Cherry, Icy Blue Raspberry. We've had for a long time Unicorn Blood. Uh, it's HWMF, so I, it's like a Freedom flavor, basically a Bomb Pop. Shark Bite, which to me is like a mango flavor. Then whiskey and cola, it's kind of like a flat soda flavor. Again, looking at flavors, honestly the Southern Sweet Tea for the All Day You May has probably been our most popular flavor for a straight recovery BCA supplement that we've ever had. The grind does have really, really good flavors. Even though I've tried more of the All Day You May flavors, I really did like I think it's the blueberry lemonade flavor they just launched. That was a really, really good one. But I'm going to probably give the slight edge in this one to the grind just based on the couple that I have tried and the feedback. And honestly, for the grind, even the whiskey and cola, which sounds extremely strange, but it actually is really, really good. Tastes like flat soda, like I said. The marketing edge definitely has to go to Axe and Sledge right now. Again, Axe and Sledge is really taking what 5% had been doing and really running with it. It's 5%, even since Rich has passed, is still doing fairly well it seems, but it definitely doesn't have the edge like they used to after Rich's unfortunate passing. But again, Seth, he is the face of Axe and Sledge and he is all over social media, all over YouTube. He has an extremely loyal fan base. So marketing, the edge definitely has to go to the grind. And then packaging, I actually do like the taller and more slender packaging a little bit better personally, especially the new Icy flavors. They just are really, really pleasing to the eye to look at. But I will say this, the shorter stockier all day you may, they're actually way easier to stock on our shelves just because we have wire gondolas. And with those taller, skinnier bottles, sometimes if somebody bumps into the shelf at all, they end up falling over. So the all day you may, the shorter stockier ones end up being a little bit better just as a supplement owner, just to stack the shelves. One small advantage I would actually give to All Day You May as well is they have a naturally sweetened one with no artificial colors or sweeteners and it's sweetened with stevia. So they have a couple different flavors in that one, mandarin orange and strawberry lemonade. I like this flavor of stevia sweetened things. I know some people don't, but I actually do. I also forgot to mention that All Day You May actually contains bromelain, which is a digestive enzyme. So this will also help process the amino acids more efficiently with the All Day You May. But I must declare a winner. I'm not going to do what Godzilla vs. Kong did or Freddy vs. Jason and kind of have a standoff, a neutral draw. I need to declare a winner. And I'm going to declare the winner All Day You May. And I'll say this, I think the grind is probably actually a better recovery product. But all day you may, with the additional B vitamins for energy, beta alanine, digestive enzymes, MSM, and glycosamine for joints, I think this is going to end up being the better overall product. Thanks for watching, guys. I definitely appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. God bless.